Hey, bro, what's that? What's what? That you just threw in here. What's the what word? I got, I got you on camera, bro. At first glance, it seemed clear that white cop planted evidence in the car of a black man. I got you on camera. We're all good. Hey, bro, you just threw that in here. And that is a plastic bag corner chair, something often used to hold drugs. The video went viral. Then police released hey, their body that? camera footage. Police had stopped that car for speeding, going 63 miles per hour in a 45 zone. The driver provided her license. Two passengers in the rear who were not wearing seat belts were also removed from the car and searched. In one passenger's pocket, an officer found the empty corner chair. It was handed to the officer in the video who discarded the empty packaging material back in the car. Corner cut. What's what? What's the what word? I got, I got you on camera, bro. I got you on camera. We're all good. Hey, bro, you just threw that in here. Yeah, because it was in his pocket, and I don't want to hold on to it. That's on their body cam that they took it off of him, so. You just threw that in here, bro. I got you on camera, bro. I'm telling you where it came from, so. I got you on camera, bro. It's an empty baggie at the moment, too, so. Okay, buddy. Okay. No arrests were made in this incident, and the only citation involved the driver who received a ticket for speeding. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. This episode is revealing on many levels. First, it's a reminder that videos and edited clips are not always what they seem. It's crucial to see the longer videos before drawing any firm conclusions. That's how we approach things. Unfortunately, a lot of people on social media like to provide hot takes, especially if something looks controversial. Secondly, this incident underscores the incredible lack of trust in the police that exists right now in America. As shocking as this video first appeared of an officer seeming to plant evidence in a black guy's car, many people were not surprised. There are reports every day of crooked cops who violate the rights of law-abiding citizens. And we are in the midst of an often painful national discussion about police culture, racial profiling, white privilege, and the use of excessive force. However, this video is also a reminder that many Americans are looking to see the worst in cops and suspects before any of us have had a chance to take a deep breath. These police officers in Wisconsin acted lawfully and did not violate anybody's rights. The only thing they could be accused of doing is showing some bad judgment. As the Caledonian Police Department acknowledged in a statement, quote, we would discourage officers from discarding items into a citizen's vehicle. Indeed, this officer should have told the man in the front seat who lawfully declined to identify himself what the officer was doing. The officer could have said, hey, I'm returning to the back seat something from the pocket of one of the passengers. But by not communicating, the officer raised the front seat passenger's suspicions. At a certain point, all of us have to be better at talking to one another at the start of these interactions. An officer may suspect that somebody is up to no good, and somebody detained may suspect an officer is on an unfair power trip. But we should still talk with each other and at least try to de-escalate tensions from the beginning. Yes, our preconceived notions are going to be tough to ignore, but we have to begin somewhere on the streets and on social media.